My name is Guido Finizzarri and I produce Villa Zari Brandy. I'm 52 and I began this work when I was 24. My grandfather, Leonid Azari, began working in the brandy business before World War II, in the 30s. My father taught me how to taste the products. When I was little, I often went to the facility where the liquors were made, and I liked to dip my finger into the brandy and have a taste. I am Alessandra Finizzarri, Guido's wife. Our adventures began many years ago when Villa Zarri Brandy was still a nun. It was a new brandy that none of the wine shops in Italy knew about. We make a unique product. It's unique because there's only one distiller. He is the one who decides. He buys the grapes, oversees them through distillation and follow them through the aging process. The Charentaise Alambic is, to my mind, the best artisan alambic for making brandy of the finest quality. It's been built in this way for around 300 years and has never been modified. It's handmade entirely from copper. The pot still is filled with 2,500 liters of wine. When the wine begins to boil, the alcoholic vapors rise through the onion-shaped steel head and end in this serpent-shaped condensing chamber. The alcoholic vapors cool and liquefy, and the distillate comes out of these two bells and through a series of tubes to gathering tanks. Being artisans means working on your own and with people you love, touching your own product, making it, thinking about it, deciding and being free to think for yourself, which unfortunately isn't the case with the large companies. I like to talk about Guido's work as a distiller, not as a job, but as a hobby. This is one of four aging cellars next to Villa Zarri. These casks are made of oak. The oak comes from France, mainly from two forests, the forest of Limousin and the forest of Allier. Oak is definitely the most elegant type of wood, the finest because of the aroma it gives off. Making a good brandy starts first of all with the grapes. The Trebbiano wine has rather poor characteristics, but these are the strengths behind a brandy of fine quality. We use an absolutely natural aging process and we add absolutely nothing to our brandy, no colorings like caramel, for example, and no natural or artificial aroma in answers. 
To drink brandy, one needs a certain philosophy, a certain spiritual sense. You have to know that this bottle has spent 20 or 30 years inside a cask. It is no longer part of your life, but by tasting it, you can feel a change and experience something from a different epoch. We constantly follow the developments in aging with our distillates. A year or two after aging begins, we can already see if that particular brandy will become extraordinary through the aging process. It's important for the brandy to sense the changes of season, to sense alternation in temperature, and for it to age in a humid environment. Fortunately, we are on the Po Plain where it's very humid. 20 years have passed. Our brandy is a great brandy. We are still youngish and we are pleased that our children can carry on this tradition. Business is good, even though we are only halfway there. We have a lot of commercial rewards, much personal satisfaction, and that's the most important thing to us. My husband's dream began many years ago and will never end. I had to wait 10 to 12 years to see the first results, because before that the brandy doesn't achieve such a high level of quality. Time is a luxury, because you have to know how to wait and have a lot of patience. You can't rush things because nature takes its own time. I have taken this luxury of waiting because I had finished a cycle in my life, in industry, and I wanted to enter another phase as an artisan. I wanted to do things well, and doing things well takes a lot of time.